I didn't want to be a bodybuilder because I thought I was going to be a millionaire. <laughs> there's no glitz, there's no glamour, you know. Bodybuilding is, is about passion that you develop from day one. And that passion is going to drive you even at your lowest moment. You can never lose that passion because you think, hey, you know what, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm not making the money that I'm supposed to make. And once you start thinking like that, just walk away. You just unleash everything that you have and give it everything that you have. That extra 5% is going beyond what you thought you were capable of doing. It's just pure animal instinct. You, know, you never know how long one's going to be uh, competitive athletes and at the end of the day, you know, we all try to put ourselves in a better position for something great and um, that's what we're looking forward to doing here. Um, stay tuned, this journey will continue. Tomorrow's another day, we're going to be on the grind. But that is life, folks. Life is a marathon. Not everything that is a sprint. You might get to the finish line and realize there's so many of this shit that you should have done. And you have to turn around and get all that shit done and start all over again. Take your time to smell the rose every now and then. I realized that, hey, you know what? Even though I might have been a pro bodybuilder, I was still acting like an amateur or still training like an amateur and I needed you know, to get myself in a better position. I needed to start thinking like a pro, training like a pro, I need to be a pro. I should have been, you know, start acting like a pro and train like a pro before I became a pro. So when I became a pro, it was supposed to be a lot easier. 5% is, you get to a point where you're not willing to make that extra sacrifice, whether it's the sacrifice in your cardio, the sacrifice in the diet, like sticking to the diet, the hundreds. And five percent is not pushing yourself to and beyond the limit in your training. Uh, that five percent is being mentally sound, mentally strong, knowing that no matter what happened, that you will be the last man standing. always going to be there no matter what, no matter what's going on. I know that my family is there, my family is always there after the show is over, they get before the show is over. They're doing the show, and, you know. You know, a lot of guys you see, it's like it's a one-man show. Yeah, when you go on stage, you're all by yourself, but there's a group of people that help you to get there, and my family included. I wanted to be the best at my craft. If I was going to be a professional bodybuilder, I wanted to be the best at what I'm doing.
was the thing that inspired me about, inspired me about bodybuilding when I got started. Because it went from, yes, I, I enjoy lifting, I enjoy training, to trying to rehab my, my arm and I just fell in love with uh, the challenge of hearing people saying that, you know, the doctors told me I wouldn't be able to you know, use my right hand anymore. And, you know, I, I wanted to prove them wrong that, hey, you know, like at the end of the day, like as long as I work towards that goal of losing this arm again, that it was going to happen.